something that needs a little fixing on Far Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric here at Far Point Restorations and Repairs. Tonight, a relatively short video, but one that probably will save somebody somewhere along the way, so I make this video for you. You have just come out to your beautiful Volvo any year between the year 2001 and 2008, and it will not start. The battery's dead. So you pop the hood, and you're looking, and you're looking, and you think, well, maybe that is it now, and then you, maybe some of you will take off that cover there. <laughs> well, you're not going to find the battery up here because Volvo, like a lot of European manufacturers, decided that due to weight distribution, they would move the battery to the back. And so in this car, if you need to get to the battery, either to remove the ground cable or to remove the battery, we're going to have to do it from the rear. This covers S60s, V70s, and S80s as well, although there might be a little bit of a design variation. So it doesn't matter if your car has a trunk or is a station wagon, underneath the panel in the trunk or when you flip up the panel in the rear of the station wagon, we're going to find what we're looking for. Let's head on to the back of the car and do it. So here we are at the back of the vehicle on this is a wagon, but if it's a sedan, S60, S80 or whatnot, you're going to have to uh, just pop the trunk. In this car though, once you lift up the rear hatch, there's this little rain tray here. I'll go ahead and set that in front, and that exposes this. Let me get the camera closer. In. And so here it is. And in order to get it out of the car, or to get it disconnected, depending on what you're doing, you've got to go ahead and unscrew these two. These are 13 millimeter. And there's another one right here. You can't see it on the camera, but it sits right there. You don't have to remove that one. You just loosen it slightly, and that allows this tray to come out. You see right here, you're just loosening the bolt that sits there so you can slide that up and pull it out. This side just sticks into the uh, firewall there. And that's it. Set that aside. And what you're left with is this cover right there. Not much to that cover. That's just protecting because on the OEM batteries, you rarely see this. This one actually does have it. But on the OEM batteries, it's going to have a vent for the battery acid to flow downward. This one does have a vent hooked up because it is the right battery. But a lot of times I see uh, 35s and 27. I put all kinds of weird batteries that will actually fit this hole. So you just kind of end up with some random stuff. Okay, to remove the battery, the last piece you're going to take off is down there. But first you want to disconnect your cables. Always disconnect your negative cable first. And that's a 10 mil. The reason you're always doing that one first is if I try to disconnect the positive first and I accidentally ground my wrench or ratchet to the body of the car, I'm creating a dead short and that's going to be a big old problem. And this one will... Now it's safe. If I touch touch the metal I haven't caused any kind of arcing to occur. That one just kind of unscrews and slips up. And then lastly we go back to our 13 and we take that loose down there. There's our bolt and this is our bracket. If it has a vent line disconnect that. And then you're ready to pull this battery up and out. That's it. That's how easy it is to get that battery out of there. It's a very short video, but it's one that I, I wanted to make. A lot of people don't even know where the battery is on these old Volvos. They look for it underneath the engine compartment, or they'll take apart the air box. Well, now you know. If it's a sedan or a wagon, it's going to live in the, in the trunk underneath the panel. Some will have that rain tray like mine had. Others, this will lift up, and that's all there'll be is just an exposed area down here. Till next time, my friends. Take care.